All right. So excited, everyone. Welcome to the Nifty Chicks and welcome to NF Tuesday with a twist coming to you on YouTube live with wine. With wine. Cheers. And we're together. And we're together in one screen, one room. This is so exciting. I love it. I love this. And this week we're going to cover the controversy surrounding the Trump NFTs, the SBF uh, drama, FTX drama continues as Sam changed his mind in court yesterday and Amazon announced a new documentary showcasing the impact of NFTs around the world. Let's do this, my friend. Let's do it. I love this being in person. I do too. I, I feel like we should do this more often. I know. You know, we live actually just a short drive away, a we golf do. cart a ride. Golf. I mean, it's clear. like, what? Five minutes, maybe? Yeah, by golf cart. Yeah. And uh, we just don't do this enough. I'm really excited yeah. to be here. Agreed. Well, we get together a lot. All the time. We just don't necessarily record YouTube live and, you know, podcast live. That's right. Together. So this but is fun. Um, I am excited. Yeah. Uh, okay. So do we want to just dive into the news since, I mean, that's really what's yeah what's top happening. Top of mind there. right now. Yeah. 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 I say let's do it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Maybe. Oh, that's not what we're starting with. We're starting with our, you know, ex-president ex <laughs> that, you know, is always in the news, it feels right. like. So what last, I'm trying to think, was it Thursday? It was I remember when it happened because I was actually on a boat when was there was, I was scrolling on Twitter and I saw that uh, Trump NFT had dropped and was trying to look at it. And unfortunately we were in the middle of, you know, the Caribbean and could not get Wi-Fi, So couldn't really see what was happening. We're like, well, I guess we'll find out when we get home. And you did. And we did. Mm -hmm. And so there is all kinds of controversy about this NFT. I was, um, I don't, I didn't put this article just because I felt like it was kind of a stupid article, but I was looking at an article shortly after and they were trying to figure out who actually launched this NFT. And so they were back, like trying to find out, I guess, like the, company behind this, which is, uh, I, it might say it in this article. Uh, it's like NFT Inc. LLC or something like that <laughs> is, sketchy. is the company. And they were tracking it back to a post office box that was located within a UPS store in Utah. And it was just funny, you know, the speculation around it. Yeah, that that's that I did not hear that, but that yeah. is so strange. But yeah. I mean, ultimately, Donald Trump is releasing an NFT, and I don't know if anyone is aware of this or has been paying attention to these these NFTs. But it it you know released, it launched, it went through the roof, prices went up high. Right. Everyone was like, "Oh my gosh, this is great!" And then it crashed. Yeah, and I think that's that's. In part, did you see Saturday Night Live? No. They did a parody of this, and it was spot on. I just really love Saturday Night Live, and anytime they do a parody or of anything, I'm just, I think it's always hilarious. Yeah. And so sure. Well, enough, and they love to make fun of NFTs. They, so that's true. <laughs> and Donald Trump. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> it was a kind of a perfect marriage for them. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I think this article is pointing out just the sloppiness. I think with the big, big headlines is like, Donald Trump released these NFTs, this NFT collection, and, um, you know, he tried to put a lot of pipe around it, but ultimately it was sloppy in my opinion. So I, I don't know. I like, I actually, so I saw this article about, you know, these Photoshop errors and, you know, like taking the, the watermark from, or watermark from Shutterstock and then like Adobe and all that. So I went and I was looking so I'm going to not even really, I mean, whatever. You guys can see the article in our show notes, uh, the niftychicks.io forward slash 134, 134. And uh, so you can go look at the article if you want to read the whole thing. Uh, but like I went and I'm looking at all of these. I don't see it when, so I don't know if somebody's like, 
I, mean, I, don't, I don't see the Photoshop errors, but what I do see is like him prancing around various like costumes in which like have no relevance to kind of what he does, right? So there he is in a yeah. I mean that you know that obviously has, like in a, a suit. Boxer? And I, is he a boxer? I don't know. Is does he has no, he ever been a boxer? Not. Right? Like, what does that have to do with him and or in his background? Um, there's quite a few of him in a cowboy hat. Like, I guess, does he identify as a cowboy? Huh? Is he a basketball player? I don't know. I don't know. The yeah. Superman? Okay, <laughs> I can see that he, he yeah, sees himself yeah, as yeah. Superman. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so I don't know. Just, um, I think the the poorly oh, thought there out. there we go. I like this one. The that one's Santa. cute. <laughs> that one's cute. But poorly thought out timing-wise. Yeah. Um, you know, especially with well, the markets going but on then there. You have to also put in there because so he was talking about a big announcement and then this comes out the same day he puts out this other like actual political announcement and it's just a very odd timing like did they yeah. did they purposefully plan that plan it that way i would assume so i you know who knows I, there's just there's a lot of a lot of conspiracy I mean, and i don't even know if you conspiracy is the right word for that but there's a lot of things going on with this collection and then the fact that you know it let's see what it started at well it's it's still up right because it, it is because it started at a hundred dollars if you bought if you could purchase it was a hundred dollars so 0.25 ETH. ETH said about twelve hundred right now, so that's it's still up. Um, it's at three hundred dollars. And one of the things that I notice, um, it, you know, a lot of the chatter around this is that it feels very scammy. It does. It. it what is that? I mean, even even down to the collecttrumpcards.com, I yeah. thought it was like really that's what you go for for the website. I don't know for I don't know a recent president of the United States. Like maybe if this were like a superhero, kind of an action figure, maybe Spider-Man, they wanted to release like a Spider-Man, fine. But like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not feeling well, then, it. Not feeling so it. then there was also this, I was hearing things like that Trump is actually not involved in the collection, but he has to be because part of what they're offering is dinner with him. You can't yeah. offer that if you, if he's not going to actually deliver that and who knows, I mean. Hopefully he is for those that I I think the deal was if you bought 45 of them, you got dinner with Trump or there were different different things like you could golf with Trump or you could have a Zoom meeting with like him a getaway or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The, the, um, if you went on the official website, it popped up with a video of him. Yeah. Uh, you know, right on the homepage kind of talking about this. And he's the way that he like introduces it, he's like. Donald Trump, your your favorite president, hopefully more than Lincoln, more than Washington. <laughs> the whole thing was very good scary. impersonation. Thank I like, you. I like it. <laughs> I've been practicing. Actually. I'm, I'm I'm aiming to you know achieve SNL status. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so you know, love him or hate him, you can collect uh, Trump cards. That's right. There you go. So I mean, everybody's talking about. Sam Bankman Freed, still FTX founder, who apparently can't figure out what he wants. And he went to court yesterday and said he no longer wants to fight extradition, which originally he wanted to fight it so that he could stay in the Bahamas. And I guess it came to a surprise, even to his lawyers. We're like, what happened? Because I guess yesterday we talked about he wanted to fight it, and now today he doesn't. I I think that's totally on par with everything he's everything done, everything of who he is <laughs> and what he's done. It's, right? Um, I mean, if I were his lawyers, I would just be like, just Dude. constant facepalm emoji yeah. of like, stop talking, stop talking, stop, like, <laughs> stop talking, stop making decisions without us, like this. It's 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 on par. It's on yeah. par. This guy, I mean, honestly, yeah, I can't even. And what I think is is also a little bit funny is that all these celebrity like celebrity 
crypto Twitter influencers are going there to be a part of the courtroom. And so I actually, I didn't even realize it was happening, but I saw um, Ben Armstrong, Bitcoin Ben was there and he took a picture and then there was this gal. Um, oh my gosh, I can't think of her name. I Well, I know her name is Erin, but her Twitter name is like, something um broker and um anyways she was there and it's just funny i I mean i understand like if you're going to go there and report on it that's cool um but you know ben was talking about um how sam like gave him the evil eye and and so i just i i'm so over this guy i know right so over this i just want him to go to jail or i I mean i guess i want accountability I want accountability. I would love I would for, cl- for, for the clients and the investors to, to get, get their, their money, money back. back. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. That's all. <laughs> and I mean, if he, which I don't know, because I don't know any of the details of the case or anything, but if he really did what it appears that he's done, then he should spend a long time behind bars somewhere, either in the Bahamas or in you know the US. what I want? I would like Netflix. Oh, they're going to they're going to do this. Go ahead and make this movie. I think it would they're be a big hit. 100% they're going to do this. I think they have to wait until they see how it all plays out, True. right? Yes, of course. Um, of course. Yeah, it, I would be shocked if they didn't. Yeah. So, and then speaking of, um Amazon just launched an NFT documentary and do I know what's funny? I was watching the trailer last night and I believe there are two people from Palmas that are in the trailer. Oh, no way. Yeah. So our buddy Pips is in there, and I think mm-hmm. Alex is in there. No um, way. Yeah. So I can't wait to check this out. And maybe what I'll do, I can't I can't play the trailer. Actually, you know what? I may be able to play the trailer. Right there? Maybe? <sighs> There we go. Let's NFTs for me are the holy grail of technology meeting art. NFTs mean I can. I can hey. make art. See? I sell it. What's so brilliant about NFTs is it transcends race, it transcends wealth, it levels the playing field. It's an opportunity to have a piece of the cake. There's this incredible community around the NFT space. I was just like, wow, why don't I know about the NFTs and the digital arts selling today in an NFT format? I really got to know about this. Only 2% of the world knows about it. Knows, oh, yes. knows about NFT. It's amazing to meet these people, young people, older people, entrepreneurs, artists, collectors, just looking towards the future. So for me, NFTs represent this kind of new evolution where you can now take content and you can monetize it in ways that you couldn't have imagined before. NFTs are a way to digitally authenticate pretty much anything. The possibilities in the NFT space to do good through our art, I never experienced anything like that before. For the first time ever, artists are really truly not going to be celebrated, but being paid for all the hard work that they're doing. I think NFTs are here to stay. It's definitely going to go beyond art. You'll be able to use it as a ticket. It may be linked to a physical game, metaverse. The metaverse is going to be absolutely huge. It's going to take the web from being a scrolling up and down, flat, static image to this 3D interactive thing. And NFTs are just going to be so everywhere. And I'm so excited to see that happen. (laughs) Cool, huh? That's very cool. That's very cool. And I think, you know, it's so interesting. We happen to be and are so fortunate to live in a community that is kind of full of awesome people that are already in the space. And it's hard to remember the fact that there's so much of the world that does not even know what an NFT is. So anyone who is listening, you are a small portion of the population. You are on the on the front side of the bell curve there. And uh, it's so exciting. How can you not get super energized? Like I literally get chills when I watch stuff like that because it's yeah. like, 
oh my gosh, this is, this is why we're here. It's like, I, I see this, I believe it. And that's why we are so excited to be talking about NFTs agree. every Tuesday. And so we just had an interview uh, last week with someone who is also working on a an upcoming NFT film. And they're going to be coming here potentially in January to start filming. And her episode, it's um, Amanda Archer with uh, First Ape Wives Club, will be releasing in an upcoming uh, Nifty Chicks episode to be determined, but most likely it will be early January. So definitely stay tuned for that. Yeah. And excited to hear more about that project. So I can't wait to check this out. Um, I don't think it says in here when this is actually going to be live. Um, so we'll just want to, you know, stay tuned to the NFT me docu series on Amazon. And I think it's super cool. So. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. Yeah. So um, I, I liked this one primarily because I own uh, Dress X. I actually own a few of these NFTs. So they announced a partnership with Warner Music Group. And I, I feel like we talk about this all the time, but like, how cool is it that, you know, Warner Music Group hopefully will be, let's just say they're doing concerts and then I can wear my cool Dress X bucket hat to the show. And they've got, I mean, you can see here, they've got, all these different dresses. Um, so they're going to do a partnership with them to design virtual fashion for musicians and artists. And I'm assuming, you know, I think that the future of music is going to be, I mean, I hope that we still have in-person live sure. events, but also virtual events. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's interesting. I think of there's a part of me that when I read this, I'm like, oh, who cares like what my avatar is wearing? But it is going oh. to be where we're living. And I think about like the concerts I go to, it takes me hours, embarrassingly so, picking out my outfit for the concert. And like maybe it is the band's t-shirt because I love going, I always buy t-shirts wherever I go for concerts. Um, but maybe it's not. And like, maybe there's an accessory. There's like, that please is tell me you don't wear the band t-shirt to the show that you're going to. Um, I have, I have, is that a no, no, it's I don't a know. No -no. Is that a no, no, I mean, you can I, wear other band t-shirts if, if it's years old. Cause like nobody else has that. It's like, it's, you, am I learning something right yeah, now? Yeah. I mean, it's oh, kind so of a known thing in the music. I have space that you're not supposed to wear the band concert that you're going to. You can wear another concert. You can wear no, another I band think. to that band. That's I similar. Have. I think I have done that. I think I have. It's, I don't know. it's a faux pas. Sorry. So sorry. Sorry. I broke all the rules. The, the one thing you can do, at least in my opinion, is for example, if you go to Red Rocks, because I've gone in a tank top and then it starts snowing. So you have to like go buy a hoodie or something. Then you can wear that hoodie I don't think I've ever done that. Because you're freezing. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, now I know. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. Now I've learned. But so for um, all of you out there, I, we, I mean. Don't wear your or, or Or let us know if I'm wrong. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. So uh, anyone this is on just, my side, come on, guys. Yeah. Come on. Maybe I'm wrong in this. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's what I have always. You're actually a much more of a concert goer than I am. I probably, I mean. I've probably been to a small percentage compared to you. So if anyone's going to know what's what's like, what's up, it's going to be you. I mean, I, I have gone to like 50 shows in one year. I have not even gone <laughs> to 50 shows in my life. So okay. <laughs> I definitely have you beat there. You got me beat. <laughs> We're going to trust her. We're going to take her on that. But either way, there's like a lot of thought that goes into what you're going to wear. And who wants their avatar to look like total shit at the concert in the metaverse? No one. No. Nobody. So you got to look cute and it's going to be part of the equation is figuring out what you're going to wear. So I love that. I love that they're um, hundred percent. They're, they're, they're doing and, and so one of the things I just want to talk about with this and what dress X is doing. And so there is an app, which um, my phone is not connected here, so I can't really show you, but I mean, there is an app. And one of the things that you can do is, turn your video on and 
take a picture oh with the accessory of you with your nft on that's cool so like an actual it's you it's not mm -hmm. your avatar it's you with using the, the camera using yeah that. that's so that's cool. that's fun so just so you guys can get an idea the, these are my three i got three dress x this is i like this one because that's cute you know the banana i like it yeah so and lastly we've got metamask enabling the ability to buy ethereum using paypal how do you feel about this so Again, I am pro anything that makes everyone's lives easier. Yeah, okay. Yes. I understand that there is, it's not for everyone, but ultimately I have had such a difficult time buying crypto, uh, you know, for various reasons. And I like, I just want it to be easy, man. And if this is going to make my life easy, I use PayPal. This is it's where so I struggle. Easy. This is where I so struggle. <laughs> Tell me why. I, I don't like PayPal. Yeah, I use PayPal. I I unfortunately still do. I would prefer not to. Um, I still do. I know you do because I know who you grooms your dog. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I have. There's a few. There's a few reasons why I still use PayPal. I would like to. My biggest thing is it's the it's the tracking of transactions. It's the it's just for me, it's big government knowing every move you make, every dollar you spend. I mean, I'm sure you saw the thing about like Venmo now saying if you have transactions yep. over six hundred dollars, you have to report it. Yep. In in my opinion, that's bullshit. Yeah. And PayPal is just as bad as Venmo. And I I really if I had it my way, I would have nothing to do with any of them. But unfortunately. I still have to. And I totally get it. And I think that's one of the awesome things about us doing this show together is we don't always agree on everything. And like, I think I under, I understand where you're coming from. I think you understand where I'm coming from. Right. And, and that's the beauty of having different perspectives. And so ultimately listeners and all of you are, you know, hearing pros and cons of both situations. And then you can determine is this something that you are for or against? Is this something that you're going to use? Um, now that you know it's a, it's available, you can choose to use right. it or not, you know? And I know I, for one, will not, not be, be connecting it. my MetaMask to PayPal. I might connect one of my MetaMask wallets to PayPal. Okay. So, <laughs> and there's no, yeah. we don't know. We don't know what's right, right. right. There's no right or wrong. It's just, you know, you know, having the ability to to decide on your own what's what you're comfortable with and yeah you know one of the things i don't love is all of the identity steps that we have to go through for everything i feel like i have to give blood to buy cryptocurrency yeah. and some some of these things and so if this moves in that direction i'm just going to be equally as angry as you are right. so um but it's nice to know that it's available for people who already live a very transparent lives and comfortable <laughs> lives with the government. Then they have this option. It makes their life easier. But yeah. yeah. Agreed. So. I, I mean, this is uh, like you said, I mean, it's the beauty of us. We yeah. are we are able to agree to disagree mm -hmm. on certain topics and we can still be friends we can and friends. love we can each drink. other. And, you know, I mean, I think yeah. honestly, like for me, it's important to have these conversations with people that don't necessarily agree with you right. on everything that, you know, we're doing or seeing or thinking in mm -hmm. this world. And so 100%, 100%. So I, I appreciate that about you. Yeah, I appreciate um, that about you. Yeah. So we appreciate that about all of you as well. And, you know, as always, thank you for listening. And we want to make sure that you are able to connect with us and, you know, stay in touch with us. And the easiest way to do that is by, you know, following us on all of our socials, which is where we share what we're up to, which I forgot. One of the things I wanted to talk about today is I don't think we talked about it last time. Maybe we did. But um, we're going to be in New York for NFT NYC. We did, I think, mention it. But yes. So excited for that. Yeah. Cannot wait. So April 12th, 14th, 4th, 12th, 13th, 14th, something like that. 
<laughs> I think 12th through 14th. I don't know. That sounds right. And around then. Yeah. Um, we have actually booked our tickets and hotel. Oh my gosh. I know we're way ahead She's of so it. She's so good. She's so good. I think I actually sent it to her, but she probably hasn't. Oh, seen I did it. not see it. Oh, okay. oh, oh, I cannot wait. Um, are you saying, are you saying at the place? Um, so you can't stay at the place because it's oh. Javits. It's a convention okay. center. So right. we're staying at the hotel right. right by there. Okay. You can let me know. Yes. So make sure you're following us on all the socials. Of course, you can find us at the Nifty Chicks. That's the Nifty N-I-F-T-Y Chicks, C-H-I-C-K-S. That's right. And as always, thank you so much for listening to the Nifty Chicks. Always remember, invest in yourself because you are worth it. Ah, I love it. This is fun. <laughs>